the fructose molecule of sugar. Remember I said it's glucose and fructose. So glucose goes into your bloodstream and virtually every cell in your body metabolizes it. The fructose goes to, through the portal vein to your liver. And when it's dumped on your liver in significant doses, your liver responds by converting it to fat. And in fact, there's now an epidemic of what's called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease in children. So it used to be 20, 30 years ago, if you were diagnosed with fatty liver disease and you told your doctor you didn't drink alcohol, your doctor would assume you were lying. But then fatty liver disease starts showing up in kids who clearly don't drink alcohol. So a lot of the people who study fatty liver disease think, what else happens in the liver? Well, the fructose moiety of sugar gets metabolized in the liver, and the kids drink a lot of sugary beverages. One thing to keep in mind is that 200 years ago, we consumed about 1 20th to 1 30th of the sugar we consume today. And none of the foods in which we primarily consume sugar existed back then. So the chocolate, candy, ice cream industries all date to the 1840s. The soft drink industry dates to the 1870s. Um, all the chocolate bars we grew up on were basically created from the 1890s onward. The sugary cereals don't come on until the 1950s. You got to think about it. You can't even drink cold, like soft drinks and fruit juices regularly until you have refrigerators and freezers to keep them cold in. And that didn't happen until the 1930s. So not only did we increase 20-fold the amount of sugar we were consuming, actually it was 30-fold as of 1999. It's come down since then. Um, we dramatically changed, again, not just the form we consumed it in, but the timing of the dose. So suddenly by the 1960s, I doubt most Americans would go more than three hours without a dose of sugar, whereas in the 18 05, say, they might have been getting sugar once a week. So with that change, you've now got this molecule that's at the scene of the crime in every population and is at the scene of the crime in the human body, the liver, and has a gun, the hepatic metabolism, the fructose, that's capable probably of committing the crime. So animal fat can't do that. Animal fat can't do that.